Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Battalion Drum and Bugle Corps virtual reunion for the 2020 season. My name is Kenton Nielsen. Uh, I have the pleasure of currently serving as the president of the board of directors of the Battalion Drum and Bugle Corps. And alongside me, I have my good friend and colleague, Mr. Cameron Payne. Uh, Cameron is also a lifetime or a longtime member of the. <laughs> you're not getting out, man. Nope. <laughs> he is a, Cameron is also a longtime member of the Battalion uh, Board of Directors. Um, he directs our show and events committees and also currently serves as the Executive Secretary of our board. Thanks, Kenton. Those are, those are a lot of fancy names for um, some guys who really just like drum corps and love the drum corps in the Intermountain West, especially in the state of Utah. Um, we're, we're glad that all of you at home are here to join us for this special event during the Corps' fifth anniversary. As you know, 2020 was to be the first year that the battalion was to embark on that journey to Indianapolis for world championships and extend their tour um, you know, for the competitive season. With student safety as our guiding principle, the administration of the battalion, along with other participating DCI Corps, um, decided that this wasn't going to happen this year, um, and that there was not going to be any competition. You know, with all that happening, uh, we certainly couldn't go an entire summer without having some type of drum corps in our lives. I know that I, this summer, have not really known what to do with myself. <laughs> we tend to keep ourselves pretty busy uh, with drum corps, and it's been, it's been strange to not every night be able to go home, look up scores, call and text all of our friends out on the road and, and see, how we're, uh, see how the season's going. But what, something that we can do to make sure that we're all staying engaged and, and getting our drum corps fix is uh, we wanted to have a chance to take everybody here, uh, members of our battalion family, and walk down the battalion memory lane just a little bit. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna throw our own virtual uh, battalion uh, viewing party tonight. So we thought that what we would do is we would highlight some of our past performances. Uh, also, we wanted to make sure that we we're including some brand new content that was being created by some of our members and some of our staff and get a chance to share that with everybody. Um, you know, tell you what, we can just go ahead and jump straight into this. Uh, let's go ahead and kick things off. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the clips and content for the very first year that the Drum Corps was part of DCI back in 2016. You know, Ken, this, this 2016 year was pretty special to me for a number of reasons. I, I was actually in Washington on business when I realized there was a show on July 1st, 2016, and I went to check that out. And, uh, and, I, and I felt pretty proud that I was wearing my onward red t-shirt there in the crowd of, you know, of a bunch of Seattle Cascades and Oregon Crusaders fans. And, and you know what? They all loved the battalion. The performance was amazing. It turned a lot of heads and won over a lot of fans in the Pacific Northwest with that initial tour. Uh, it, it was fun to be around, to be a part of that first season. Uh, our members and all of our volunteers, our family, our, our, our parents, uh, to be able to go out and show the world what battalion was all about was pretty was pretty special. Uh, kind of looking back, if you were to think about some of the highlights of what went on that year, I tell you what, we lucked out. Uh, our first performance, our first real public performance with the battalion uh, as, a, as, a, as a member of, of Drum Corps International, um, we got to perform our first San Pete beat. Uh, not only did we get to pull off San Pete beat, but we had the opportunity to uh, perform with the world famous uh, and founding members of Drum Corps International, the 2016 Madison Scouts. Uh, they were coming through town on their way to California, and we were lucky enough to put on our first exhibition performance um, with them in the stadium with us. Uh, for anyone who was uh, wondering what Drum Corps in Utah was going to be all about, they were in for a treat that night. They came down, uh, and really, we had Drum Corps' uh, newest corps uh, in the activity, and we were sharing the stage literally with one of the founding members of DCI. And I couldn't imagine a more meaningful reception into the world of Drum Corps than to have the support uh, of a vanguard institution such as the Madison Scouts. The, just incredible, an amazing night. And who would have guessed that we would have that many people travel to Sam Pete, right? Yeah. Uh, we showed up at thinking, I don't know who's gonna come, I don't know who's gonna be here. And I tell you what, we packed that stadium yeah. um, and gave a chance for everybody in that community and everybody here in the state of Utah, a chance to see uh, what Drum Corps is all about. And they melted that place to the ground. It was a great show. Um, so yeah. Pretty exciting, pretty exciting stuff. You know, speaking about Sam Pete, um, this is probably a good opportunity for us to also recognize uh, that that area of Utah has really become a heart uh, and a, a, an important part of what makes up the Battalion uh, Drum and Bugle Corps. Um, we, of course, would want to reach out and recognize our stalwart education partners. Uh, right from the very beginning of our journey in Drum Corps, uh, our, the folks down at Snow College in Ephraim, Utah, uh, for the past four years, 
Uh, we've had a chance to be housed and to run our rehearsals and basically really become a part of that summer landscape at Snow College. Uh, and there our students have found a home. They've had access to some of the best facilities in all of DCI. Um, there are organizations out there who have been around for decades who don't have the type of support and amazing world-class uh, facilities to hold their, their all-day camps like we do. Mm -hmm. And we're super grateful for the partnership that we have with uh, the folks down at Snow College and the Horn School of Music. Um, not just there in the, in, in the arts department, but also let's remember the athletic department, all the folks in facilities management, uh, and of course, the kind, patient, and supportive people of you from Utah who uh, <laughs> let us come and invade their town every year. Uh, it's, it's important to us and we're so grateful for their support and we'd love to think that we become a member of their family as well. Absolutely. Well, with that being said, let's see some clips from 2016 and portions of the 2016 show. Run to you. Okay. Yeah, we, we got to record the show. like that here we are through the magic of editing and through post-production we have magically taken ourselves to Stewart Stadium there in Ogden Utah part of the Utah part of the uh, DCI summer music games it's hot outside so we had to put on the t-shirts it's t-shirt time guys that's right we're talking 90 plus degrees here in Ogden today and so uh as you can see here live in Stewart Stadium with a gigantic uh, group of fans behind us isn't Whoa. this amazing oh Whoa! It was like the Philadelphia experiment. All of a sudden, I was there and then I wasn't. And then, there you go. Look at that crowd reaction. Hold on, I'm melting into the deck. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, don't worry. We don't teach our kids. No, we anyway. have nothing to do with the students. No, we're mm -hmm. way behind the scenes kind of guys. <laughs> we drive a checkbook, not a not a bus. <laughs> we we build. Uh, what, are, what 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 have we built? Anything that they tell us to build, pretty much. Symphony carts, synth carts, food, food trucks. Uh, uh, that brings back memories. Yeah, nothing passes code. Maybe we shouldn't talk about what we do. No, no. Stuff passes code. Don't worry. We're sure it does. Anyway, hey, what did you think of that uh, 2016 show? The thing that I love the most is that crowd reaction. Whoa! <laughs> 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 the, 
maybe green on a green screen isn't a great idea. But you know, the 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 crowd was super excited about seeing the battalion there in their home state for the first time. Uh, there we were, this fledging fledgling young corps, uh, walking into honestly one of DCI's best venues. Uh, the the chance for us to to have a home show in a great stadium such as Stewart Stadium at Corps Encore is unparalleled. Uh, and so when we when we were standing there that night with our battalion t-shirts on and watching the Corps come in and listening to how that crowd reacted, um, it was uh, <laughs> that was something that I'm going yeah. to remember for the rest of my life. Uh, there has to be something said about everyone on that tour from that year, from our admin team and the members and especially our volunteers. Uh, they were really the team that helped us to truly blaze uh, that initial trail for the Corps and establish what it means for us to be the battalion. Yep. To all those who took a chance on us for that first year, uh, making sure that we had everything we needed to help build the foundation for our core uh, of what it was that we were and what it is that we're going to become. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to volunteer for the core, um, I would highly suggest that you consider it. If you really want to become involved in a drum corps and help out, um, you don't have to be an expert uh, in percussion or brass or in color guard. Uh, but if you know how to operate a spatula, if you know how to operate a paintbrush, you're invited, right? Um, so thank you so much. Uh, I can't imagine the countless hours of times cooking meals and sewing uniforms um, that have gone on in the past four or five years to make sure that we are uh, building an organization that's going to have lasting power. There's a lot of lot of thankless jobs out there inside of a drum corps, and you know, let, let us get the record straight. We are so grateful for all those that have put even 20 minutes or 20 hours or 200 or 2,000 hours into uh, helping the battalion become as successful as it has. So with that being said, let's take a look at some of the highlights of uh, those behind the scenes, kind of handling the battalion traveling circus, the ever-present battalion administration and volunteers.
All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, you know, don't worry about us. We've now magically transported ourselves to Invesco Field here at Mile High. Well, I think it's called Empower Field now. What? Are they you just, kidding me? They just changed it. It's oh, like, crap. Name changes. I, get, I can't keep up. I can't keep up. <laughs> anyway, here we are. We're now at Empower Field at Mile High uh, in Denver, Colorado. Uh, we're really moving around for this video. I tell you what, the Corps has spent a lot of money on uh, yeah. making sure we have the locations to put this production on. We weren't messing around. No. No, no like... It's not like we would be doing this like in Cameron's basement with a pink bed sheet behind us. No, 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 no. We wouldn't do that. That doesn't sound weird. It doesn't respect us. It no. doesn't respect the students. No. And really, it doesn't respect the organization. We're a higher caliber organization. That's that. very true. So uh, we're going to look at our 2017 production. Listen to the silence. Oh. Okay. You at home, you can yeah, feel yeah. free to use that if you want to. Yeah, yeah. Just for your own. So you can feel like you're really here. Like what was we, the name of the show again? It's Listen to the Silence. There you go. Sorry. See, now you feel like you're in the stadium, right? You feel like you're really involved. Uh, now, this production was a monumental year for the organization uh, for a few reasons. Let's talk about some of the things that went on in 2017. Um, let's see. First of all, this was our first trip to our other home show mm -hmm. at uh, Drums Along the Rockies in Denver. So uh, it was the largest core that we'd ever fielded. Uh, and this was the year that our design team uh, created an amazing production that was not just incredible, but was also free of copyright issues. So great job to our uh, design team yeah, to be able to find absolutely. the perfect music, captured the show wonderfully, and we didn't have to worry about all the obnoxious copyright issues. So yeah. kind of a silly thing to celebrate. Let's be honest, more drum corps better. Yeah, kudos to that design team, uh, Shiloh Stroman, uh, John Matthews, uh, Dallin, Alex, Hatch. Dallin Hatch, Alex Denton. Um, and, Incredible, and everybody else that's on there that I, I can't remember off the name off the top of my head, but great job, guys. So, you know, this was the the first year that I was able to watch the core actually rehearse at Snow College prior to going on tour, and I have to tell you that I was blown away by the energy of this group and the uh, seeing the the improvement week over week over week, and then eventually, you know, at Ogden and, and, and out in Denver, that was a lot of fun. You know, it's it's a big credit to the initiative that this gr group took to to becoming a lot better. With that behind us, let's go ahead and take a look at our 2017 show, Listen to the Silence. And listen to that ballad. It's awesome. Please welcome to the field from Salt Lake City, Utah, the Battalion. Drum majors Kylie Lincoln and Andy Blomfeld, is your core ready? Performing their 2017 program, Listen to the Silence, Drums Along the Rockies is proud to present the Battalion. I know the stillness of the stars and the sea and the city when it pauses and the space between words where deep dark wood before the winds of winter begin. It's a silence where music alone finds the word. Between the stillness and the fury lies a place where hearts can breathe. Hear it speak.
Sometimes, I feel like I can touch it. The silence wraps around me like a warm blanket. And I feel alive. and the sea. 
the silence inside the fury and the stillness where music alone finds word. Ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Dolan Hatch, Battalion! The Battalion is Utah's Drum and Bugle Corps. Founded in 2014, the Corps completed its first tour in 2016 and aims to provide learning and performance opportunities for young adults that develop their character, leadership skills, artistry, selflessness, and spirituality in a Christian value-based environment. Ladies and gentlemen, Battalion! <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry, we just wanted to make sure that everybody was... Yeah. That was, that was a, a nice touch to the end of that show yeah. in 2017. And if you can't tell, we we're, uh, we're actually traveling back. I mean, we were in Denver. Now it's time to head back to uh, back to Salt Lake. And so we're in the back of the equipment truck. Just, you know. Yeah, that's why we're, no big deal. Yeah. We, we travel cheap. We, we do. Yeah there's, yeah. there's no flights for us. We want to make yeah. sure that we're good stewards of, uh, of the budgets of the course sure. set. So we're not, we're, not, we're not flying Delta. No. Oh, no, no, we're no. in the back of the equipment truck. Oh, yeah. Anyway, if I had to choose between riding on another unknown airline or maybe relaxing in this luxurious equipment truck. Look at them floors. I know. Those, those are shiny. Those are good looking floors. We're going to have to talk about this a little bit later because, I mean, it didn't happen in 2017, but, <laughs> but we, we just, we're, we're switching it up. When, when, when you go to a show, uh, one of these big regional shows, you end up getting a kind of a grizzled drum corps audience, right? They know mm -hmm. they've been to a lot of shows. They know what they're looking at, right? That moment in that show hits and you can hear it in the video. Everybody in that audience, they just, they wait, they know it's coming, they see that silent drill happening, and you can tell they start to react, and they're begging the core to drop into that final phrase. And then what happens right before it? Jack! They Amazing. Oh, my God. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so, again, great design on the part of our design team, but even more important, great execution by the members of the core, okay. right? These kids spent that season learning how to perform and how to tell that story. And uh, man, by the time that we were performing there in Denver, it was yeah. hot as the concrete at that same day. It was just <laughs> incredible. Great work, everybody. Absolutely, absolutely. Great job, 2017. Hey, let's take a look at some content produced by some of the veterans of this Corps. Here are a few of our, a few of our team reading A Red Coated Summer, the poem by Christopher, Wol Christopher Wolfersberger, which is a name you may have heard in this drum corps before followed by a message from Everett Shiro. In a little town in Utah, where a single Walmart held a monopoly on groceries, and every theater, bookshop, and restaurant was closed by nine, a sea of red flapped against the gate. Scarlet plumes hung on stagnant summer air, and crimson fabric rustled with fear, excitement, and impatience, while the setting sun began to sear through black shoes and singed the feet. Red uniforms forming a crimson crowd of silver glinting in a summer sunset and people squinting through heat and sweat 
After three weeks of hardship, joy, and pain, the moment was finally here. It seemed like a waste of effort in summer, but the experience is exhilarating unlike any other. German Buell Corps is a phrase few have heard, and fewer still can know what it really means. It's not just a collection of marching band nerds or a convention of lunatics who have crazy dreams. It's so much more than words can say, but words are all I have, and so I'll do the best I can. It's two months of working from dawn till dusk, working and struggling, and working and falling. Pain and exhaustion become close friends, and it seems hard to believe any of it will end. You hope and you wish, and you hope and you pray, that you'll get a good shower and sleep someday. But then it ends, and you come to realize it's over. These same exact people will never perform the show you gave your life to ever again. It starts with pain, the middle is pain, and it ends with pain. So why? Anything worth earning is worth struggling for. Else, why was Gandhi willing to endure suffering sores to prove that we are one humanity? Why did Thoreau choose to live away from distractions, to listen to the silence and learn to adore it? Why was Galileo willing to toil for the satisfaction of seeing red giants and planets and comets? Why did Washington so unshirkingly run to young America's side to valiantly serve the guns? It's great and all to hope and believe, but hard work is needed to really achieve anything worth getting. Dreaming will only get you so far, but working hard will help you meet the bar and then go higher. Blood, sweat, and tears will get you what you need to feed your craving for success, helping you go forward, upward, onward. Maybe trying is hard or seems too impossible for you, but the truth is everyone fails, everyone falls, everyone breaks. But breaking leads to healing, and healing leads to getting stronger, and getting stronger means you get to keep on trying for longer. And you will triumph over everyone that wants to beat you, break you, hurt you. Don't wait for your dreams to fall into reach. Reach for your dreams before they're too far gone. Those who never try are bound to never succeed. The quitters fail because they fail to improve. But he who keeps trying, persisting, and working has already won where the others have faltered. Aren't we all wayfaring strangers traveling through a world of woe? But if you want to find that world free of danger, that bright world to which we go, you'll have to work to claim that reward. That's what I learned when I went this last summer, to the town where one Walmart had a grocery monopoly. The people I came to know and appreciate proved the jocks wrong who said we weren't strong, and the brainiacs who said we were quite simply maniacs. We did something difficult because, even though it was a challenge, we loved it and saw the good it did for our lives. In spite of the times we faltered and fell, we found joy in what we did, and we did it well. Which just goes to show that the ones who never get scarred never get better because they never work hard. Hey Battalion, I hope you're all doing well and that you've found some fun things to do this summer. I know it hasn't quite gone as planned and I really miss being able to tour with you guys and perform with such an amazing group of people. We've had some really world-class music in the past and we have some really cool stuff coming up. I'm looking forward to the 2021 season as we prepare to go to Indy. It'll be our fifth touring season and should be an exciting time for all of us. There are some bright days ahead. I hope you also consider doing your part to make sure that you're safe during this pandemic so you can make sure the 2021 season is possible. If you want to support your Corps, I hope you'll consider going to battaliancorps.org or to the Battalion Facebook page to donate so that we can make it to Indy. Hey, what's up guys? I miss you a lot. I hope you're enjoying what we have so far with you guys. I hope you've seen some familiar faces and I bet you're missing them a lot as I am. Uh, it's been a different summer, I know, and I'm sure a lot of you were expecting and really excited to be able to go to Indianapolis, but that will wait and we'll do that soon enough together. I'm excited to be with you all again and struggle through rehearsal day, being really hot and exhausted, cooking our own food again. It's really exciting times. Miss you all. If you can, uh, you should support your Corps by donating to battaliancorps.org or the Facebook page. If you're not a part of the group as well, you should donate. It's important that we continue 
down this road, our trajectory is fantastic. And we're going to be an amazing group when we finally hit Indianapolis. Miss you guys so much. Hey everybody, welcome back. As you can see, we've now transported from the back of the equipment truck uh, directly into Hawk Stadium here at Alpha High School. Yeah, Sandy, Utah. This is uh, this is the home of our first home show. That's true. Our legitimate first home show. That I mean, we host it. That's right. And man, I tell you what, it takes a lot of work to host one of these shows. I'm still tired from that show. <laughs> <laughs> that show specific. Well, uh, tell you what, let's move on to 2018. Mm -hmm. So 2018, uh, a number of firsts for the battalion. Uh, you know, this was the first year that the Corps was going to travel and compete in California. Also, 2018 marked the first year that the Corps, as we mentioned, got a chance to host our very first open class show here in Utah and in Colorado. Um, a big thanks to our partners at Alpha High School in Sandy, Utah, and of course, the Stanley Lake High School in Westminster, Colorado. Uh, these inaugural events were a great success for Drum Corps. Uh, a great success for all of the hosting high schools, and honestly, a great success for the communities that were a key part um, of those shows. I think that, uh, and you know, when we get more drum corps out into the universe, it makes the universe a better place, and we put two more shows into the world that year, mm -hmm. and we should be proud of ourselves. Absolutely. A lot of, a lot of good folks came to, to see drum corps for the first time, or, or, you know, for the second time that year in their respective state. You know, I just I just have to tell you, our friend Caleb Shabastari, the band, director of bands at Alpha High School, has been such an amazing partner to help make drums along the Wasatch happen. You know, we know it's not just him. We there, There's a supporting cast there as well. His, his team of band boosters and volunteers, they made this event so special. And similarly, Chrissy Duran, the director of bands at Stanley Lake High School, uh, along with the parent organizations there, I, I know they, they ran a very great fundraiser there as part of the show. Um, it, it just really made the Mile High Showcase the success that it has become, and we're excited to, to make that happen again. So thank you to our partners you know, at Alta High School and Stanley Lake High School for making this happen. We look forward to getting to the field in 2021 or when, when, whenever that ends up being, but, but rest assured, it, it's, a, it's an initiative for us to make happen. Well, with that being said, let's take a look back. Uh, we're going to hop in the battalion time machine, and uh, we're going to go back to 2018. Did you know we had a time machine? got a time michael cesario has a time machine i've got a time machine tell you what <laughs> i tell you what i thought the next big purchase we were going to make was maybe a food truck that'd be nice yeah uh <laughs> but evidently we have a time machine and uh we're going to feature that right now so we're going to talk a little bit uh about some of the amazing things that we did in 2018 uh let's go ahead and take a look at our production seeing red seeing red i love it one of my favorites from nature andy blomfeld Colin Morrow, Nick Duco, and Ransom Larson. Is your car ready?
right, everybody, welcome back. I don't know about you, but that was that was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, that 2018 show that was pretty hot. Yep. Yeah, it was. Uh, that was definitely a, a, definitely a fan favorite, and uh, you could tell that the crowd was into it. every time we performed this show. Uh, such a good concept to be able to communicate. Uh, the crowd, I think they, I think they ate that show up. Okay. Um, you know, that that show was definitely designed to make you uh, feel like you've got your own heart beating out of your chest a little bit. Yep. Um, from that opening statement, uh, it was wonderful. I think the battalion took the field. We had that first opening chord from our horn line, and uh, the, sh the the audience knew that we had showed up and that we were serious. You know, it's a it's a great show both from an enter ten, an entertainment point of view as well as competitively. And uh, sure. it was great to see the core doing well in so many of their captions. In many cases, they were scoring well, even, you know, they were scoring better than some world-class cores during that Pacific Northwest tour. So it was really, you know, feather in the hat for the uh, for the students and the and the ed staff there, there with the 2018 core. Uh, you know, we've been talking a lot about the shows, but we wanted to make sure that we were also going to talk a little bit about our staff. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, watching all these shows, it makes me miss live drum corps. Uh, you know, the staff of the battalion, uh, I think that my world's been shaken up not having drum corps. Imagine these folks who are out on the road yeah. every day throughout the summer. Um, I, I can only imagine what that's like for them to not have that constant contact with the students and to be able to teach and really execute um, in the craft that they have become experts. Um, yeah. So with that, uh, we wanted to make sure that we were giving the staff of the battalion a chance to share a little message for our alumni and for our current members. Uh, and so let's uh, let's cut over to them and see what they have to say. All right, go ahead, Mark. Miss you all very much. We live in a very crazy world right now, and I'm feeling the absence of our drum corps summer very much. But I want you to know that I'm thinking about you. I love you. I miss you. Hey, everybody. I hope this message is finding you well. I know here at the Jensen clan, we're in a little bit of less sleep nowadays than we were in the past. Definitely miss all you guys. Wasn't how we were planning on spending the summer, but I think that my quote that I love the most that really encapsulates all of this is here at Battalion, we teach you life skills. And what more important of a skill to have in a time like this than to be able to go through life and take what it throws at you. Hey, Battalion, we miss you. Can't wait to see you again. Keep working hard. I just wanted to say that I miss the Battalion so much. It's really hard not being able to be with you guys, working with you guys, making music. It's especially hard not to hear the song Hear You Me played by The Pit every day. Keep going. We'll see you next year. Hey, BTAL, we miss you guys this summer. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. We miss you. Hello, everyone. It's your friendly neighborhood artistic director, Shiloh Stroman. I miss you all dearly, and I'm sure that you share the same feelings as I do as we listen to the silence of the 2020 Drum and Bugle Corps season. I think, however, that what humanity needs most right now is you and your dedication and values similar to the ones that we hold near and dear at the drum corps. Please know that we will be seeing red as soon as possible as we take the field in the future. When it's safe, know that I will run to you with open arms and we will embrace each other and share some excitement as we get back on the field. Love you guys, miss you. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, know that you are all missed and hopefully in the future we'll be able to meet again to make music again soon. Take care. Hey, Bita, I uh, wanted to just say that I miss you guys. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying it, but I feel like I'm actually missing being out in the sun, getting sunburned, working hard, getting sweaty. Well, at least I feel like I didn't work too hard, but you guys work hard and you guys get sweaty and everything. Hey, Battalion, we miss you. We hope you're staying safe. We hope you're staying healthy, and we hope that you're serving the community around you. We can't wait till we can be together again, but until then, all we can do is press onward. Hey Battalion, Chef Coach Mom here. Just wanted to let you guys know that I've been thinking about you every single day. We miss you guys so, so much, and I cannot wait to be reunited, hopefully sooner than later. We miss you, Battalion. Just know that I love you all, 
and then I miss you. And it's until next time, like I said in my video that I sent to you all, it's not, this is not forever, but it's until next time. Love you, Battalion. Bye. Hey, Battalion family. Love you, miss you. Hope that you're staying safe out there. Thinking about you. Love you guys, miss you. Stay safe, stay sane, and we'll all see each other soon. We miss you. We miss, we miss you. you. We can't wait to see you on the field making magic for us again. Hey, Battalion. This is some of the Colorado Percussion staff folks. We miss you. We hope you're finding ways to help and support those around you. We hope you're staying happy and healthy during these tough times. Yeah, make sure you're still practicing those beats. We love you. We're thinking about you. Hey, BTAL folks. This is Doug Goodwin coming all the way from Indiana to send you a message letting you know that we miss you and we can't wait to see you again soon. I love you. I miss you, kiddos, and I will see you guys all soon. Miss you very much. Trumpets, keep playing. I know 2020 has been a strange year, but the uh, best thing we can do is just keep moving forward, and um, hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Hi, guys. We miss you, we love you, and we hope everybody is staying safe. Hi, Hi Battalion. Battalion! We love you. And we miss you a ton. Stay safe and we'll see you next season. We miss you. We love you. Go Battalion! Thank you so much to all of our staff members who were able to share those messages with us. Um, I can assure you that uh, just, as, uh, just as you miss uh, all of the members and the students, that they certainly miss you. Um, 2020 is a, is a year of first, and we're definitely getting through this together. Yeah. Uh, and thank you so much for the love and for the dedication that you've all shown uh, to the students, uh, to the members, and really to this organization. Yeah. Um, a matter of fact, we, we take for granted uh, what we've been able to achieve in our early years. Uh, as you can see, we're, uh, we're, we're back from, uh, from Alta High School in our previous location, <laughs> and now the outside of... This fancy. Sorry, I stole your thunder. There. Oh no, I'm just saying now. Here, here we are. Yeah, uh, in front of our wonderful battalion equipment truck. Anyway, <laughs> we wanted to highlight the amazing things that happened in 2019. Uh, you know, the battalion has really uh, become a Cinderella uh, tale in in modern drum corps. Uh, for those on the periphery of the activity, it's not always uh, obvious as to the work and the and the support that's required uh, to make an organization like a drum corps happen. Uh, and quite frankly, the battalion has been flat out blessed to have the very best support in the worlds of music education and in corporate sponsorships um, to achieve what we have achieved. Um, you know, we, we, we chose to be here in front of our equipment truck for this segment mm -hmm. to highlight just that. Uh, some of the amazing partners that we've been able to work with, uh, we wanted to take some time and give a heartfelt thank you to some of these outstanding corporate sponsors that have been absolutely critical to our success. Um, because without their help, honestly, uh, none of what we've been able to pull off going on the road would be even close to possible. And yeah. so let's go ahead and talk about some of these amazing partners. First and foremost, uh, someone who's been with us and supported us since day one has been Yamaha. Uh, Yamaha Music USA uh, and uh, the folks who we work with there, sp uh, specifically Mr. Wes Kreitz, um, mm -hmm. have been supporters. Absolutely. And, and uh, you know, in partnership with uh, Yamaha is Summer Haze Music, based here in Murray, Utah. They've they've been a key partner for us from day one, and we can give Chris and his team enough thanks for everything that they've done uh, to help us with repairs. <clears throat> excuse me, help us with repairs, um, in, uh, facilitating purchases from Yamaha with for new equipment, setting up new equipment, off, and oftentimes providing storage before this beauty showed up. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, a, a good portion of their warehouse held battalion instruments until we were able to uh, afford this asset to store those instruments in. So thanks to Summer Haze Music. Likewise, Summer Haze has another partner uh, that they work with, and we were actually put in contact with this group uh, through Yamaha, and that is Boomer Music in Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, Boomer Music has been a, a key part in how we process our instruments, again, helping with repairs. Mm -hmm. uh, during the off season, our instruments don't just sit around, they actually travel around, and we make sure that uh, they have an opportunity to get used and to get played. 
um, being able to uh, send our instruments out to uh, local high schools there yeah. in Colorado and to be able to funnel those, transport those, and have those repaired and serviced um, flowing through the folks uh, there at Boomer Music is a very important part to how we function and uh, get, really get the most out of the instruments that have, uh, that, we've been put, um, that have been put into our hands. Uh, in addition, let's talk about our good friends at Dodario. Uh, the folks there, they have been uh, a sponsor for us again from the very beginning. Um, Dodario are the folks behind Promark Drumsticks and Evans Drumheads, uh, and they make sure that through support, we have everything that we need throughout the season. We made an initial pitch about Snow College at the beginning of this meeting, but we can't say enough about this partner. Uh, Snow College is n not only a, a fine educational institution, but it's they've facilitated us with the, the necessary space, the necessary housing, and sometimes the necessary meals that we need um, for, uh, for, for, for having all, days, uh, all day rehearsals down in, in Ephraim. Great, great partner to, to, of the battalion. We're really grateful for uh, Snow College. Some quick shout outs as well. Uh, my own company, 1-800-CONTACTS, sure. uh, and their support. Uh, they, they make sure that, we're, that we've got a place to uh, store our beautiful equipment truck yep. uh, in our off season and that we uh, have that in a nice, safe, and secure location. They've been wonderful to work with and to help us out. Uh, Josh Johnson with Mansell Real Estate. Josh Johnson it actually serves on our board of directors as well, but his day job is as a real estate agent in the uh, Wasatch Front area here in the United, uh, here in Utah, here in the United States. I don't know what I'm saying, but uh, but Josh is Josh is a, uh, um, a guy who stays behind the scenes. But if you need a house, Josh is your guy. And last but not least, we wanted to send a great big thank you out to our friends at Clubhouse Trailers. Uh, this, uh, this amazing asset that we have, uh, something that we were able to obtain by working closely with Drew and, mm -hmm. his, uh, and his team out yeah. in Oklahoma to uh, really give us the best of the best. Totally. Um, you know, we've had other drum corps come and tour our trailer, uh, come and walk through. And uh, I, I, I think it's fair to say they were a little jealous. Yeah, they're, they're, they were impressed with yeah. what they saw. Uh, so some, some, some folks who have been around the block who have spent their fair amount of time shuttling drum corps around the country, uh, walking through our equipment trailer, uh, told us flat out that this is what they're aiming for. This is their goal. This is what they're going to do next. Uh, so the quality of the product that uh, Drew and his team out of Clubhouse Trailers has been able to put together for us is outstanding, not to mention the ongoing support to make sure that we as an organization are taken care of and that we can safely move down the road. Uh, really a key piece of equipment to, to help us keep this thing on the, on the, keep on this the thing on the road. Yeah, yeah quite literally. Literally. <laughs> You know, and, and, and I forgot just one. Uh, it's our friend Jeff Wilson who, with American Pacific Mortgage. He's, he's been a sponsor of, of uh, previous events, and, and we're very grateful to Jeff uh, for his, his sponsorship of the battalion. Well, now it's on to 2019, the most recent year here in our uh, collection of seasons that make up the, uh, the overall experience of the, of the battalion drum and bugle corps. 2019 brought with that uh, a brand new set of opportunities uh, that the drum corps was able to show really to our members and to the world, to our alumni, and to all those who support us in our community, um, a list of milestones that we were able to tick off. So if we had just a second, maybe let's talk about a few of those. Um, right off the bat, we'll talk about what's behind us here. How about, how about a big old 53-foot uh, equipment truck? Changes yeah. the way that we travel, the way that we operate, and allows us to give our students the chance to focus on their show and on their well-being and not have to worry about doing all the weird things we were doing to <laughs> pack a box truck after shows every a night. A couple of box trucks, if I remember right. Yeah. Another thing that we that we uh, added to the fleet this last year was an operating makeshift food truck, complete with a door and everything. That's right. It had a door. I don't know if you ever saw it, but that thing had a door. It's a door and a drain and an air conditioner. And, I mean, there was there was all sorts of good stuff on that thing. Also turned some heads by by a number of other cores. Um, one other thing that we did in 2019, uh, you know, we're becoming an organization with a little bit of history behind us, and we realized that there are some folks that we wanted to recognize and to be able to start to create some legacy um, within the organization. So in 2019, uh, we were able to mark the creation of our Battalion Hall of Fame. Um, you know, being such a service-oriented organization, it makes sense that the first Hall of Fame inductees were, of course, Robert and Mary Wolfersberger, yeah. uh, affectionately referred to uh, by the Corps as Grandma and Grandpa. Uh, and let's let's not forget uh, that same evening, if I remember correctly, we inducted one other member to the uh, Battalion Hall of Fame, and that's this guy right we here. Don't talk about Hold on, my much. thumb went away. That's <laughs> this guy. I hate this thing. 
That's this guy over here. <laughs> Mr. Cameron Payne also inducted into the 2019 class uh, for Hall of Fame. Uh, Cameron has been a supporter of Drum Corps here in the state and also in the Intermountain West uh, for a long time. Before his involvement here with the battalion, Cameron and I have had the opportunity to work together uh, with the Blue Knights organization. Um, and he has been just a stalwart supporter and really uh, is someone who believes in Drum Corps and participates in Drum Corps as, as an adult for the right reasons. And so thank you so much to all of our uh, Hall of Fame inductees in 2019. Uh, pretty exceptional folks. Um, one other person we wanted to call out here, and that was, of course, uh, uh, if you were able to attend uh, our, our home shows there in, uh, in, in Colorado and Utah, we also presented a Lifetime Service Award presented to Mr. Victor Neves. Oh, yeah. Uh, Victor, yeah. like Cameron, a lifetime supporter of Drum Corps. And we mentioned this a little bit in the show there and, uh, when, when we were giving out these awards, but if you have attended a Drum Corps show uh, in the state of Utah, you have Mr. Victor Neves to thank. Absolutely. Um, Victor has been uh, working as really the, the housing coordinator um, for both Corps on Corps and for Drums Along the Wasatch okay. since our beginning. Mm -hmm. um, drum Corps do not travel and they do not perform unless they have a place to sleep the night before. And Victor has worked tirelessly for mm -hmm. literally decades to make sure that Corps coming through the state of Utah have a place to rest their heads, to put on the very best show that yeah. next day. And we can't say enough about the wonderful supporters uh, in our activity, including Mr. Neves. So, Victor, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, we've talked too much. Let's take a look at the 2019 program, Humanity. Drum majors, Andrew Blomfeld, Colin Moore, Everett Shryock, and Staley Kohler. Is your core ready?
young humanity. That 2019 show was a lot of fun. It was. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, and you know, my favorite part in that one is the, uh, I don't know, do we call it the jazz mo the, the, the jazz piece or the dance piece where the, the core is in a triangle and the color guard's in there just throwing the flags around. Throwing the flags around. I sound like an idiot. But anyway, the color guard looked amazing in that in that part and uh, really added to the value of that of that production. Yeah, that, that, that production, I... Uh, it, it was all about humanity, and if I think I had to isolate to myself that one point to me that really, uh, it, that really communicated, I guess, was there at the ending, um, the decision to bring the core from that final set uh, up yeah. in the front, and then to let those core members individually melt up through that front ensemble, and to approach the audience, and to take down those barriers between them as a performer and you as an audience member. That to me spoke yep. about the humanity uh, more than more than anything. I loved seeing them take down that that uh, that character that you play kind as a facade. performer, yeah. and they break through that line, they come yeah. up, and really, uh, for me, just, you know, as a, as a special moment, we, we did that encore show oh, yeah. uh, that night uh, out in Colorado, uh, really just right after this performance that we just saw. We did the encore show, and I kind of snuck up a little bit, and I hid out inside the pit, and I had my phone out, and I was just kind of filming all the members around me, <laughs> um, and that's just the emotion and the smiles on the faces of the members was an incredible moment and I loved watching them break down that barrier and just share with the audience members human to human how they felt and yep. their just their celebration of what they've achieved that season. Bravo to the 2019 members of the battalion. Knocked it out of the park. Great job guys. You know one of my favorite traditions of uh, that this corps has is when they come together to sing the core song, the members. Uh, it's, it's, it's reserved for just members and alumni um, that have marched. No board members, no staff. This is for the marching members and the alumni. And it, it builds its own meaning with the marching membership. One of our resident digital media experts, Donnie Helvey, and his daughter, Cambria. You know, the Hel Helvey family has volunteered thousands of hours, hours to the Corps, by the way. Um, they, they, they put together a virtual version of some battalion alumni singing the Corps song. And uh, I think everybody's going to, going to enjoy it. Go ahead and check this out. I am a boring, stranger, just traveling through this world of woe, and there's no sickness, toil, or danger in that bright world to which I go. Man, Cameron, I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that's, uh, you can sing in tune, you can play in tune. You guys sound great. <laughs> they pulled it off. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice job, guys. And uh, big thanks to Donnie and Cambria for helping to put that together. Um, I can only imagine what that takes to try to coordinate those different, uh, yeah. those different clips into a final product like that. Uh, but thank you so much. And thank you to the members for uh, really sharing that moment with us. You know, as those who... Uh, are around the core and those who travel with the core, um, 
You know, we, we that's like you were saying, that's something that we don't participate in. Mm -hmm. uh, and really, that's uh, that's pretty special for us to be able to share in what I look at as a sacred moment uh, with the members. And so thank you, members, for allowing us to be there and to uh, to participate in that. Very meaningful. Uh, we're at the end of our night here. Yep. Actually, can't believe this has gone by so fast. Anymore. Yeah. Lucky you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, you know, we, we actually chose, uh, you know, for our final backdrop here, Cameron and I magically traveled forward to Lucas Soil here. Uh, yep. You know, 20, 2020 was going to be the year. Yeah. We were going to make our first appearance here at Lucas Oil Stadium. And so, uh, like everything we do at Battalion, we want to make sure that we left you this evening with the goal of where we're headed. And that's right here behind us at Lucas Oil. So thank you all so much uh, for participating in this virtual reunion for the Battalion Drum and Bugle Corps. Um, you know, we're going to sign off and we're going to leave you with what we'd like to call the, the b towel be real b towel be real Right. <laughs> uh, some, of, some of the lighter moments in our brief, in, in our brief but profound yeah. history of the battalion. Um, and uh, again, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And please join us on the road again in our next season where we'll go ahead and we'll finish off that, uh, that summer with an amazing performance at Lucas Oil Stadium uh, with you as members, your family members, your friends and uh, the family that you've built here uh, with the battalion. And uh, we're looking forward to that moment. All right, go BTEL, looking forward to the future. adventure of the bell pepper. He's been good. Hi, I'm Michael Williams. Play your flames better. I'm hot. <laughs>
Thank you. 